I've just checked into my hotel, the Monte Cristo, which is where I'm spending the next four nights. I'm kind of using Riga and this hotel as a base to explore the city and explore a few towns around the city as well. So I'm gonna unpack a few of my bits and pieces from the case and then I'm gonna head out into the old town and do a little bit of exploring. Before that, quick view of my hotel room. Very spacious, I'm quite impressed I've gotta say. It's got an air conditioning unit and I got all this pretty close to the center here in Riga for just 42 pounds a night, including breakfast. So my plan today is to visit St. Peter's Church, which is the tallest church in Riga. Apparently a third of all Latvians live here in the capital city. I'm looking forward to seeing the UNESCO World Heritage Site of the Old Town over the next few days. So this is the site of Riga Castle. It's now the office of the president of Latvia. Hence why there's quite a bit of security at the front, including a closed road. Just a little further along the road now. And as I pan around, there's some nice looking buildings, including a Ukrainian church. St. Peter's Church stands here 123 meters high it's about 400 foot and it's got a very distinctive steeple the original church was made from brick entirely and unfortunately due to that it collapsed the newly renovated church which is again built in brick has been reinforced by steel rods to make sure that it doesn't collapse again. The original bell tower was built in 1509, that's where I'm heading in a minute. That also collapsed a few times and has since been erected once again. This is traditional Latvian attire. Okay, so it's time to head up to the bell tower. Well, I've caught the lift up and there's some amazing views. Look at this cityscape. This is Riga, Latvia, folks. Some landmarks right ahead of me, including those four giant hangars in the middle of the shot. I think they were originally German Zeppelin hangars and are now part of the Riga Central Market Hall. The big old TV tower way over there on the other side of the Dalgava River. There is the old town with those unmistakable red roofs. Looking forward to getting down there and having a proper look around. And way over there the river flows out to the Baltic Sea which is about 8 or 9 miles away. Riga Cathedral on the right of the shot. It is something else up here. Okay, so I've just crossed that bridge right there. I'm still in Riga, but I'm just the other side of the river from the old town now. This is the river Dalgava. You can see the spires and churches and buildings of the old town over there. And I'm heading towards that bridge over there. This is the Vanshu Bridge built during the Soviet period and opened to the public in July of 1981. Back then it was named the Gorka Bridge after the Russian writer and political activist Maxim Gorka. 
The name was changed to Vanshu following the collapse of the Soviet Union here in the early 1990s. The bridge is of a cable stayed design and built from steel and concrete. It rises to a height of 109 meters and is over half a kilometer in length. It is one of five bridges that crosses the Delgava River in Riga. Just next to the bridge is the massive Sunstone skyscraper, also known as the Swedbank building. At 120 meters, it is one of Latvia's tallest buildings and has been open for business since 2004. And on the banks of the river is Riga Castle. This is the castle that I walked by earlier today and is home to Latvia's president and a number of museums. It was originally founded way back in 1330 and over the years parts of it have been rebuilt, modified, reconstructed with the last major reconstruction happening in 1515. Parts of it were also recently damaged when a fire broke out in 2013. To the right of the castle is the historic centre of the city, a place I'm looking forward to visiting over the coming days. made it back to the old town and I'm about to head off and get some food. I am back in Riga in a couple of days time but tomorrow I'm going to be heading out of the city for a day trip to a small Latvian town called Sasis. I'll see you there. Good night.